Hey, what's going on, my disciples? It's been a long time. Like, I think I've uploaded in like a month. But I want to come back and talk about Castle Hill just because I know in the Asian servers it's already out. And a lot of you have already kind of decided whether or not you're going to summon. But this is really important to, you know, this video is really important to say because you guys, if you are not a, you know, big whale spending money, you kind of want to play a little bit smart in Genshin. And I understand that sometimes the hype can be a little overwhelming and, you know, cause you to summon, you know, like without really thinking too much. But I just want to make this as a quick warning, okay? Uh, so don't let the hype completely take you, you know, overtake you. But uh, what I wanted to say is, should you actually summon on Kazuha's banner? Is this banner worth summoning on? Um, and I wanted to uh, have you guys consider some, you know, future banners and things that might be happening. Because to me... This banner scre is screaming bait. This is ba this is the biggest bait banner of I've ever seen. Because look at this. We got the new character. We have Bennett, Rosaria, and Razor. Usually the four stars are not that good. This banner is crazy for four stars. Like, this is Rosaria's first time returning. We got Bennett, and we have Razor. Like, this banner is really crazy. Um, And I wanted to say, like, should you guys summon for your Kazuha? Like, is he really worth it? Uh, before I, want, I get into all the other stuff, I want to talk about the characters on the banner themselves. Because the most important thing isn't the 5 stars, it's actually the 4 stars. Because those are the characters you're going to be seeing the most. Um, as for Razor, super good DPS. If you don't have a main DPS, like you're a free-to-play player and somehow you don't have a main DPS, Razor is a really, really, really good option. Uh, he's a physical DPS. But, um, yeah, that's basically, he doesn't really do any type of supporting stuff. So, if you don't need a physical DPS, then I wouldn't really consider building Razor. I'd only really build him if you, uh, if you don't have another 5-star main DPS. So, keep that in mind. Um, his constellations, if we're gonna look at that. Again, they're really good for his, uh, damaging stuff, but they, he doesn't really do any support. So, keep that in mind. Um, I'm sure I don't have to explain Bennett to you guys, but just in case I do... Uh, this is Bennett, probably the best character in the game, uh, <laughs> of course. But uh, just make sure you don't, if you have Bennett, I'm sure you know, uh, don't activate his C6 because it literally ruins him. Well, I'll get into that in a little bit, uh, but I want to briefly say Bennett is a, a support character. Uh, he's a healer, and, you know, when you're inside, his, his Q basically, you know, makes this, like, little circle. And when you're inside the circle, you get some of his attack, so you basically do more attack. Um, the reason you don't want to activate his C6 is because when you're inside that circle, it converts all your damage to pyro. So if you're using a, a main DPS like Eula who needs physical damage, um, Bennett fucks her over because when you're inside the circle, it makes her physical damage pyro damage. But yeah, I'm sure you guys already know that. I'm sure you know how good Bennett is. Um, if you don't have him, yeah, maybe, maybe I'd consider summoning just because Bennett is so good. Like, you, you must, you have to have Bennett in this, in this day and age on Genshin. As for constellations, C1 is really good. You know, all his constellations are super good. Like, uh, you know, the ones that gives uh, that benefit his support stuff. Like this one, C4, maybe not that great. Confuse C3, I, I, maybe I'd say don't don't uh, don't go in for constellation on Bennett. But yeah, super super good. Lastly, we have Rosaria. Um, she's an interesting case. Some people make her a physical damage dealer, but honestly, that is isn't. It is really not what she's for. All you know, her talents are. She really wants to be a support, right? As you can see, she gives crit rate. You know, she gets crit, but she's uh, the best thing about her is that she gives crit. Um, her constellations are super good. For me, I'm definitely going for the C6. When you're inside of her little, uh, you know, her area uh, like th when she cues or does her elemental burst she creates this like area of effect that does cryo damage and when you're inside it um with this constellation you get extra you know physical resistance so that's pretty good um her constellations are super good right so honestly rosaria if you don't have her she's a great character but i would say honestly if you're missing her you're not really missing out on a whole bunch of stuff like you're pretty much good without her the only thing is, if you're missing Bennett, then I would say summon, right? Um, as for Kazuha, we don't know everything about him because he's... Well, actually, he is out now, so I can actually talk about it. Because he was leaked before, so you just have to be careful with that stuff. But, uh, yeah, so we basically know Kazuha is uh, more of a supportive type character. He's not really meant to be a main DPS, right? So you have to keep that in mind before you summon for him. Um, his banner is super good. 
if you have a if you have two super good main dps's and you just like kazuha overall and you want him as a support and you need uh these some of these characters then sure i'd say definitely you should summon but what you should consider what i would recommend everyone to do is wait right because a week before the banners go away they reveal what the next character is or you know even a week and a half like whatever uh you get what i'm saying right so let's say you have a week on the castle hub banner um then genshin will say okay here's the next banner and a while ago they tweeted out these characters from inazuma um sayu i believe is a four star but uh we have the five star ayaka and the five star uh Yo yoimiya so what i want to say is you guys really this banner <coughs> This banner seems way co too good to be true to me. Usually they aren't this good. Um, so what I think is happening is I think that they're actually baiting people with this banner before they release the big time Inazuma characters. So what I think you guys should do is you should wait, right? I know it's going to be hard, but you should wait till the last week and then see what's next. Because, uh, yeah, these this, this could be really big. Like these Inazuma characters could be really crazy and they could be next, right? So, you just want to be smart about it, but I understand the hype is sometimes, you know, if you've been saving for him, then you, you really want to summon for him right when he comes out, then I guess it's understandable, but um, if you want my personal recommendation, I'd say you should wait, right? But other than that, the banner is super good, of course. Kazuha is super good, good support, all that stuff. So, those are my thoughts. Um, let me know what you thought in the description, or the comments, sorry. <laughs> it's been a while, but uh, yeah. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you found this helpful, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.